Hey everyone, this is Pause or Repeat. Here we figure out whether a game is really worth your time and money. Today's game is EA Sports College Football 25. This is EA's big return to making a college football game. The last one was with NCAA Football 14 from 2013, but EA is more well known for the Madden series, of course. This game still being from EA has some of the DNA of Madden in it. Is the fact that it follows college football instead of NFL enough to keep it feeling fresh? Let's tackle the gameplay side of things first and find out. The gameplay of College Football 25 is of course still football. You can't exactly change the rules of the sport so wildly between games when the sport hasn't changed in real life, right? But what can differ is how the game feels and plays. There is a new control mode for passing that especially experienced players will be able to take advantage of fine-tuning the details with. However, if you would like the system already familiar from Madden, then that is an option as well. Other additions include meaningful stat scaling to the quarterback's throwing based on player stats, as well as a wear system, to name a couple. The wear system is basically a stamina stat that can be used to gauge the player's condition. With too much wear, the player cannot perform at full potential. Outside of the gameplay, there is also a bit of college world building in a sense. This is boiled down to resource management, having to juggle your classes and GPA alongside practice and game days to make sure your character is not only in good standing with the school, but also the team. But of course, the meat and potatoes of the gameplay is always going to be the football games themselves. Now the question, is there any story to this game? There isn't a traditional story with characters, but there is a quote, road to glory mode, and it delivers the game with some RPG-like elements thrown in. But now the question still stands. Pause or repeat? All right, Chris, we all know and, and this has been a thing we've talked about before on the show. I'm not a huge sports person. Yes. It's not a, no, 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 like, <laughs> you know, harm in that necessarily. But hey, I still had fun with the game. But I, wa I want you to kind of, you know, lead us in as you being the resident sports person of the show. What did you think of the game? I'm just curious. What's your favorite play in this diverse playbook? Was it the quarterback, Neil? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, you mean the, the quarterback knew where you just count down the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just let the time progress down because I had to torture you to play a sports game. No, you know <laughs> yeah. what? I will say that is a that is a nice addition that you can do that because <laughs> I I can just imagine you know an online play that being used for some bad manners, uh, you know, towards well, your you can, enemy. You can definitely team. you know you know speed up the clock and all that kind of fun jazz. But man, yeah. dude, the hype for EA College Football twenty five is very real i mean we were talking about it uh previously over two million gamers gladly paid an extra 30 dollars just to play the game three days early because apparently impatience is worth a hundred bucks i mean that, that's incredible i mean yeah, i thought we to were pay 30 dollars more to play it early <laughs> Yeah, but then I guess there is some benefits to it, Henry, because the more I think about it, you know, I, I'm single, right? But I know there's guys and ladies out there, you know, you have a significant other, right? So they might not be entirely thrilled that you spent the extra $30 to play your game early, but hey, view it like this. At least you're, stay, you're saving money by staying in all weekend, right? There's nothing like romance on a budget. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. $30, that's not too shabby. Your girlfriend's gonna wanna get some ice cream even after the dinner date and a movie date, anything of that kind of nature. But, but with going back to the gameplay, man, you know, after a decade long break, you know, thanks to, you know, the legal drama and the NCAA rules, EA College Football is back. And, you know, I think it's really cool. You know, you're getting players now that are receiving digital fame, even getting paid $600 each, which is kind of like its own story within its own self. But think about it. You know, you have like the traditional NFL route that has over 32 teams. You get to play with up to 134 team football subdivisions. That, to me, that's one of the most amazing benefits about the game. I mean, how did you feel just experiencing, you know, just the college atmospheres within each stadium? Yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting. I mean, I, I, even when I went to college, wasn't really a big person in, in terms of like going to go watch a football game, but this game does, you know, give you the same kind of experience, even down to like the, the camera shake. Yeah. And the, the crowd in the stadium kind of or making the drum the rolls, shake. you know, from, or, yeah, the, the whole, from the band, the whole, the, uh, band. The, the production of it, you know, like the, 
from the, the cheerleaders to the mascots, to the teams running out and everyone's cheering. Everything is like, the details are all there. And I appreciate that because it, it does try to, you know, lend itself to reality in that sense. And I mean, I have been to football games, but not really that many. And I can say from <laughs> what I have been to, it's pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of gamers out there that have been kind of saying, you know, ever since, you know, leaving that college environment, it, it really is kind of cool to go back to maybe Oregon State or UCLA, USC, yeah, whatever, yeah. and be able to kind of witness that like kind of same game day approach. I think that is like a really, really cool aesthetic with the game. You know, I did mention the drum roll. Was anybody else like really disappointed with the music in EA College Football 25? <laughs> they kept hyping this thing up as if it was going to have this like blockbuster roster, and it just... In on a level, it got kind of tad of annoying. I mean, I'm a I'm a drummer myself, but hearing like, like after a while, that just drives you bananas. Maybe but they like, need to focus on that a little bit more on the next game. Maybe you know, just a little year. bit more. But you know, like I, I you know, because I, I was kind of clowning this game a little bit before it came out because you know, like we, you were talking about, like even in your uh, excellent video to hype up, pause or repeat, you know, the whole wear and tear factor, or just being able mm. to kind of do the micromanaging inside ea college football i don't know about you henrik but like to recruit the top talent in this game you're gonna have to kind of do things that might make most adults cringe like unlike madden where you can just draft players and trade players you have to dive deep into like a high schooler's social media profiles you have to slide into yeah. dms you know you have to convince them to come and visit your campus it's like online dating but for super <laughs> football stars like it's weird i get what they're going for they're going for more of that like what the recruiters actually have to do in real life uh, to actually get these players on certain teams, but maybe <laughs> this isn't the game for that. You know, like like if they didn't if they didn't have that feature, I'm sure no one would complain. Yeah, and it's oh, oh, go ahead, go I think ahead. If they had if they had gone even further into it and made it a little bit more fleshed out, maybe then it would have been better. So if they decide to keep that for next year. Maybe they should do that. Maybe they should flesh it out a little bit more. Because you've already been seeing fire. some of like the cringy, like weird NPC conversations that like people yeah. are having some fun with, and, and they it's end like up repeating as well. Yeah, the game's it, not it, perfect, it kinda, you know. Yeah, it kind of takes away from the experience in a sense. It's like, yeah, you got your kind of like clip bait moment, or, I guess. You know, yeah, cool. You know, mm -hmm. there's no such thing as bad publicity, right? But I don't know. I, I felt like it, it would be really, really cool to like actually feel like you are an NCAA coach. It's not quite there as of yet because i feel like if you're like a sports journalist and you're kind of writing about like some of the imperfections that you know college coaches do that treat their athletes in maybe a way that you know or they you know they promise them one thing and then they don't fulfill it on the other end or they or they drop the student halfway through and you know don't fulfill their scholarship i mean what kind of, what does this teach our future generations i mean that was just kind of like a random sidebar moment that i was kind of uh viewing it from that kind of sense but Kind of going back to the gameplay, the defense, I don't know. Do I suck ass, Henrik? I mean, it doesn't matter whether <laughs> I'm playing strong safety, cornerback, or linebacker. <laughs> playing defense is so freaking brutal. It's like trying yeah. to catch a greased pig. <laughs> you, you know what? I, I can agree with you on that because, and maybe this is, you know, just both of us are not good at the game. I mean, I don't, I don't even really play these games in the first no, place. No, I love I, you know, Madden. Like, like, I love playing defense. I suck stocking. at it too. <laughs> Like, I'm a big Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I like playing as Ryan Fitzpatrick. You know, he's usually really freaking good, you know, if you're, like, kind of stalking your opponent online. But I just feel like they run right by you. And I don't know. I feel like the hit stick is, like, completely useless. Like, what's the <laughs> point of adding that feature if the guy's, like, right next to you would think a basic hit would happen? That's a little bit of the bugginess that kind of needs to be fixed, but it did kind of take away from the the experience that i was feeling but uh you know you were also mentioning even in your video the, the road to glory mode everybody's yeah. been really really looking forward to you know this but i kind of felt like you know there's some major flaws that kind of really grind my gears with this mode I, I think one of the number one things is and i've been seeing it online and hopefully ea will make like a patch to kind of bypass through this but like why can't you just call the plays you want to call like, you know, sometimes, you know, you might want to choose in the, you know, in this mode, you know, road to glory that I want to be a quarterback, but they just keep handing the ball off. And so essentially you're just watching a computer play in this like cinematic experience while a you're simulation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's not fun. 
And that's really not cool. And I know there's been like some ways where, you know, you can kind of like tweak it a little bit with like, you know, the play selection. But even that alone, I don't feel like is enough. I just felt like I was a spectator just cursing at my screen the entire time. Uh, yeah, how did you feel about fair. that? No, I, I agree. And I, and I think it really is goes back to the fact that I don't think that a lot of the features in this game are the main focus of the game. And that being really probably one of them that they in the next iteration can improve on because I'm sure their bigger focus was making sure that like the online play, which is really going to be what keeps this game alive is, you know, people playing with each other. Um, I think that's really going to be the, the thing that they, when you look at this game that they focused on. And I mean, yeah, it, it did feel a little like, okay, well you put this mode in and it's not really fleshed out. It's not finished. It feels like yeah, that kind of sucks. Because but I feel like they were at just least they put it in, and they can try to you know fix the little things here and there that they can, and maybe next year they'll do it better. Maybe it was different in your experience, but like it just kind of felt like they were just trying to add so much into one game because they were just so excited yeah. that there's such a 11 year drought like i mean yeah it's really cool that you get to make your own stadiums make your own team like i even saw one guy going viral he was like i'm making the tatooine uh outlaws you know kind of <laughs> you're know, referencing star wars and you know yeah. there's like really cool things and i know that they're trying to implement that into a more online experience you know moving forward with the game so i think that's kind of promising but I, I you know in a sense i'm gonna say pause henrik like i this game just doesn't feel like you know because that's the problem like it it, <laughs> it gets recycled year after year after year yeah. like madden and it, it, even with like some of these headaches that i'm already having with just this uh rebranding in a sense you know because originally it used to be called ncaa football now ea college football 25 i, I don't know I, I think it's a pause but if it definitely comes on sale during the christmas time i mean what are you waiting for i mean yeah jump on the game it's it's still a whole lot of fun it's just like i just it's it's not quite there for me what about you henrik yeah i'm i keep saying this but really i i am not a sports game person and so for me it is a pause but i definitely could see this being a game that if you're someone who has enjoyed the Madden games year over year and you enjoy that experience of not really getting a different game every year, then this is going to be a game for you. It's just not a game for me. That's all. Yeah, 